Oh, don't do this. Don't hit their knees. No, 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 no. Fuck. You're kicking me in the nuts here, Sidonia. You're, you're straight up just whamming me right in the fucking nuts, man. I don't like that. I, I, I don't like this, Sidonia. I, I don't like what you're doing to me right now. Like, straight up, this is not right. Like I said in my last review, I am not liking how the Slice Live has constantly been showcased throughout this entire season with the romance because the last time we got romance, there was a death of Hoshijiro. And to see... Now, with this episode, that the fucking death flag and the cliff, and yo, no, no, Sidonia, don't do this shit to me. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. I, I'm so mad right now because straight up, that's an awful, awful thing to do. Like, you give me a death flag right at the fucking beginning, you give me death flags these multiple episodes, and then you make me worry last week, and then you do this to me, and you, no, no, I, I'm not a fan of this, Sidonia. Don't, don't do this. Like I said, I don't like being kicked in the nuts, okay? I, I'm liking the pairing of Tanikaze and Izana. I, I'm liking this pairing. I'm liking the romance we've got in these past couple episodes. I'm actually fucking enjoying it. And then you're doing this to me? No, don't, don't do this. You, you already made her lose an arm. Don't do this. Don't, don't, please, don't do this to me. I'm not, I don't want this. I, I don't. Okay? <sighs> because I know Sidonia has the balls to do it. <laughs> I know the mangaka has the balls to kill off Izana. I, I know. And I don't want to see that. I, I don't. I, I really don't. Because the ending is hype. Very hype. But damn it. Damn it. Sidonia. Stop. You, you, you always do this. You, you always... You have these moments where you... Make us grow connected with the damn character. I mean, you... <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's just talk about the episode. Talk about the fucking episode. Okay. Let's talk about Sloth Sloth before I get into the ending segment of the episode with Ghana. Invisibility and stuff like that. So, majority of the episode, about, I'd say 90% of the episode, maybe even more than that, was Slice of Life. And that's kind of... Once again, goes back to the argument or the topic I talked about in last week's episode of Sidonia. I said majority of Sidonia Season 2 has been about romance, slice of life, character development, characterization, and just the calm before the storm. That's kind of what Sidonia Season 2 has been about. Like, 90% of this season has been about that. And as I said in my last review, it's very misleading for some that, you know, look at the title... Knights of Sidonia War of the Ninth Planet, or, you know, look at Knights of Sidonia Season 1 and look at that action, and when they look at this, it's very misleading, but it, it's good. There, there needs to be arcs like this, especially in a series like this, to grow connected with a character. We can't just have characters dying one by one every fucking episode. We need development for characters. We need to care about characters before you start killing them off. And so, l let's put hypothetical. This is hypothetical. If, ho uh, if Izana dies, okay... Next week, I'm gonna be salty. I wanna be honest. I'm I'm gonna be pretty fucking pissed. I wanna be I wanna be salty. I, I I won't deny that, but I'll respect the decision of the mangaka for taking the damn time to grow us connected with a character for multiple episodes, not just half an episode and then kill the character off, but multiple upon multiple of episodes growing us attached to a character and then killing them off. I'm I'm fine with that. Fuck. I mean, it's shocking. It's a great way to kill off a character, especially if you build it up. And I'm more satisfied with that instead of forced development just being thrown on top of me in one episode. So, I can deal with it, but I will be salty next week if I do see something like that. <laughs> just prepare yourself, Cheebits. If, if I see that next week, I'm going to be fucking salty. But, majority of the episode, romance, coupling, jealousy... Love triangle. I mean, damn it, Tani Kaze. You, you, you even got a Ghana, half Ghana Camara, wouldn't you? I'm so fucked, dude. Just like. Ah. I like the episode, though. Very, very fun. I, I noticed a couple of cheapets last week in the comments were saying uh, they don't really like the perspective of the slice of life in Sidonia. It's rather boring. And I, I can understand. I, I can understand the argument and the plight there. I, I can. Because. Majority of us watched Sidonia because of those action scenes and what we saw, especially in those CGI moments. They looked fucking beautiful. Oh my 
God. But sometimes you need stuff like this to really make us care about the series. And, I mean, we can't just have action 24-7 or we're just not going to care anymore. So, we're going to be desensitized to what's going to happen in the future. So, I, I'm glad Sidonia takes the time to do something like that. That's kind of my argument to say that verifies why we should have Sly Sloth like this in Sidonia. So, I'm really just going to move past it because I, I pretty much covered this in the past couple episodes. I don't think I really need to dive into the Sly Sloth. It's pretty obvious what's going on here. I don't really need to dive in and talk about every individual detail. Because, like I said, self-explanatory. But there is something I do want to point out. It seems like there's another Chimera being made in this episode. Did you see that? Another Chimera. I I'm going to play some theories right now. I want to assume that Chimera that's being made is going to go out of control. Judging by previous experiences, what we saw like two episodes, two or three episodes ago, with the Higgs particle cannon going out of control, I want to assume this experimental Chimera Ghana that's being made most likely is going to go out of control too. And probably could do some major damage to Sidonia, one or the other, because I, I felt like that earlier on in the episodes were foreshadowing to whatever is currently being made. And Sumugi's probably going to have to stop it, most likely. Now, besides that, moving into the final point of this episode, you have it to where <sighs> an invisible Ghana. Now, I don't even know how to begin to explain this. Like, the Ghana was invisible, supposedly, to what they were saying, but. From what we see is the Gaunt is continuously expanding at the end of the episode. And it's very weird because we haven't seen a Gaunt just appear out of thin air like that in the series. There's been some crazy things and as we can see Gaunt do improve over time to try to fight the humans. But I I we've never seen some form of capability from a Gaunt like this and it's, it's strange. I'm assuming I'm theorizing here. I could be wrong so forgive me manga readers if I'm wrong. But I'm assuming... The Ghana wasn't really invisible. I'm assuming the Ghana had particles spread out in a large ass radius. And they were so small that they really weren't detected. And then they started forming a giant ass Ghana. I, I think that's what was going on. Like, the Ghana wasn't really invisible. It was just really small. I and mean, it just started forming again like Majin Buu from Dragon Ball Z. You know when you know Majin Buu reforms again? When he attaches his little pieces of his body into one, I think that's what the Ghana was doing, and that's why it grew in size. I'm assuming. So, if it is invisible, that's some terrible shit, like, straight up. If a Ghana can go invisible, and I, I'm wrong, that's, that's scary, because that means there could be a giant-ass army all over the planet, and you can't even see it. Like, if a small, like, a Ghana like that can go invisible, what if something the size of that hive cluster could go invisible. Yeah, you, you get my point. So, if it is invisibility, that's some scary shit. Straight up. I don't think a Ghana can attack in that form, though. I don't think they can. Because when they were shot with the Higgs particle cannon, it, it seemed like the Ghana didn't really try to attack. Or the Ghana didn't really try to attack them to begin with. So, I, I don't know. There might be a weakness to the invisibility if it is an invisibility type cloak thing. We'll have to find out later on. So that's about it when it comes to this episode. Very slow, but very fun and enjoyable, as always, when it comes to Sidonia. I cannot wait for next week. And Sidonia, do not kill off best fucking girl. Now, I'm not talking about the Chimera, because she's the best Chimera. You know, Sumugi's best Chimera. But don't kill off Izana. I'll be pissed. I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'll be salty. I straight up will. So I'm done. You all have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi